it going, lads? Marshall here. Welcome back to the channel for yet another review right here on Marshall United HD or YouTube or whatever you want to see. But today, we're doing our first Man of the Match player review of FIFA 22. Now, I'm doing this because... The, well, the card looks nice, man. Look at it. It's orange. It's orange, man. It's the Fanta cards. They have returns. Uh, we got a few yesterday. We've got Lukaku, Dybala, amongst many different other players, including a Norwich player. I think it was Billy Gilmore. But we're going to review Dybala today because it's the first time, I'm pretty sure of this, he has got a special card this year. Now, at the start of the year, if you guys can, like, track your minds back to the very beginning of FIFA, I rated Dybala as one of the better attackers on this game. Because this guy was unbelievable in front of goal. Honestly, everything he touched, it went in the back of the net. He was so clinical, was absolutely ridiculous at times, and it made absolutely zero sense. So today, what we're going to do, we're going to review his man of the match, brand new item on FIFA 22. So guys, if you do enjoy, you know what to do as well, man. You bring that type, you smash that like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here, and make sure you get amongst the comments to see who you want to review next on the channel. Now, Power to Baller... Right now, you see the price in the left-hand side of the screen. It says 70,000 minimum to 100k maximum. Now, this is because uh, on the Xbox, it's currently like above 70,000. So, uh, it's 70k minimum because that's probably the minimum you can snipe him at. Whereas on the PlayStation, you actually have to snipe him. He is literally extinct at 100,000 coins. And uh, right now, you need a snipe to get him. But over time... The price, the, the kind of, the thing will move up, right? It'll go at like 150 or something like that. And then it'll be readily available and probably drop below 100k anyway. So it doesn't really matter too, too much. It's got medium, medium, where it's left with primarily four star skills and a three star weak foot. Now you look at the statistical layout, right? Um, a lot of good things about the cards are in here, especially the acceleration, uh, the finishing. You might just look at the finishing just by itself and think, eh, it's not that good. Stick a hunter on him, boys. <laughs> I mean, it does wonders. Boost his uh, acceleration, sprint speed, etc. And he's finishing attack and position and shot power, which nearly maximizes out a lot of his attack and stats. Uh, dribbling, it's very responsive anyways. The weird thing about this guy is so clinical, yet his composure is low compared to a lot of kind of end game cards in this game, right? You get the likes of uh, the brand new SPCs that come out. Uh, and they are good. Uh, but they've got high composure. Whereas this guy doesn't even need composure. I don't know what's with the baller in this game. He just doesn't need composure because he's that good in front of goal. Passing, you can play him a center forward cam, anywhere across the attacking for a even striker because this guy can create. And uh, by the way, today, we're using the cam in a 4 2 3 1, and he scored eight goals. Honestly, just wait till you see some of them. It's insane. Uh, agility wise, 93. Great balance as well, 95. Full control, 94. 91 jubilant uh, boots. And the worst stats in there. Reactions, 81. Composure, 80. Which a lot of people focus on. And they write to as well. It's just it doesn't seem to matter with the ball. And that was the joy at the start of the game as well. Stamina. Issues, boys. Issues. Uh, 71. That is an issue. We'll get to that in the game. Strength and aggression also issues with this card. Physicality, just an issue in general. Where is his traits? Perfection. Utter perfection for any attack on this game. Finesse shot outside of foot shots. And by the way, I scored a crazy outside of foot shot in the gameplay. And the flare trait as well. Now, that's what we're going to do now. Is jump in the gameplay. See how he does perform. You're going to be shocked by... Just the quality of goals, basically. So here we go, lads, into the gameplay. The gameplay has arrived. And straight away, Dybala arrived as well into the area for this goal you're about to see. Uh, pass across the box, tap in, bread and butter. And that is where he's going to come into play if you play the 4-2-3-1. Because with his work, it's been medium-medium, he arrives in the box quite late. So your striker can hold it up. And then who's running the box to your left or right of you? Paolo Dybala. Because he's making that last minute burst to get into the box. And with the finishing that he's got, uh, the shot power, etc, etc, he's going to score it anyways, man. So he's very good when he does come down to that, making late runs in the box. You want to play, make it from deep? Do exactly what I just did there. Nice little chip up, a flick over the top, and Martinez heads it over the top to keep it into the back of the net. Now, what you'll probably see from now is me kind of test the finesse shot with this one. Goes very cross, great save by the keeper. But I knew from then, a little bit more power... These shots are just going to sail in each and every single time. And that is exactly what happened. That's about, you're about to witness it in its, um, its glory, man. His shot power is nuts. Uh, there's one strike. It's not that one. Where the keeper actually does get his hands to it. 
and he literally just parries it in the back of the net. The accuracy on that strike is bonkers. Literally bonkers for the stats that he's got. Uh, Dybala, he can do that at will. Literally will. Now, they may thought, nah, Marshall, mate, that's just a one-off. Look at this one. I believe this is uh, the shot just after that as well. I wanted to see what he was like from a similar angle. The keeper gets his hand to it, and it still goes in the back of the net, man. Look at that. It doesn't make sense. He's got 86 shot power. Yes, with uh, the Hunter, you do get a boost on the shot power, but he's... He shouldn't be shooting like this. Hey, I, I'm not. I'm not complaining. I, 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 it's a joy. This guy's finishing is utterly sensational. Now, in terms of pros, we'll get through them as well. You see the pace. It's mainly his acceleration because that is key into how he does play. He accelerates past his opponents, and then you can do what you want. He's a very responsive card in this game. That's that's another pro as well. Responsivity uh, or responsive because he's exactly that. He's just a very responsive card. Look at that lovely little shimmy there. By the way, to do that. Oh, how do you do that? It, it, it's a weird one. You need to hold. I think I, I always ask how you do that, right? But it's like, I've got all, all this on muscle memory. So I didn't even think what combination I was going to do to do that. It's basically a fake shot, but you need to hold LT. And you need to press the left stick up to the direction you want to exit. That sounds very complicated because it is when I say it. But um, I don't think I'll be able to show you it either. It's basically, you hold the left trigger like that. Uh, you do the fake shot, like a fake shot, and then the left stick. If you want to go up, like onto the ball's left foot, and you're facing right towards that goal, you press up on the left stick, and that's the way he does exit that. Uh, and if you want to go down onto his right foot, you press down. If you want him to just do a standing one, by the way, you literally just, um, he, he drags the ball forward and then back. And that is just, uh, you don't press any on the left directional stick. It, it's a difficult one but it creates very nice angles to take the strike. And that is how he scored that. This is another goal coming up right here. A bit more of a simple one. This is actually a tap in. By the way, the last goal that he scores, oh, utterly sensational. Uh, the pros, the pace, the agility, like I did say, by the way, the pace is mainly acceleration. Uh, responsiveness to the card is utterly brilliant. Uh, nice little volley at the back of the net then, make it 4 deal. I think that guy did stick around in that match as well, to be fair. And he actually brought it back in the second half. Uh, shot accuracy. You've seen it for yourselves, and you're about to see probably the best goal because it looks effortless, absolutely effortless. I take it past him, weak attempt to close down. No words, no effortless is the word. Sensational finish. Uh, passing is there, four star skills are there. Of course, he's got his weaknesses the three star weak foot, the strength, the stamina. But lads, let's talk about that a little bit more in the summary. So there we have it, and lads, that was Paulo Dybala. By the way, like what you see in the background now is just like, it's actually screenshots because I've sold them since. Um, he's 100k, he's in instantly selling for 100k on PlayStation, so I, I, I'm not one to like wait for the, the, the price ranges to adjust and instantly list them to get the profits, because I'm never awake when that happens. I, I don't think so anyways, or I'm never aware when it happens, so I'll just lose coins anyways. Uh, so. We bought them for 100k, sold them for 100k, is what it is. So you've got screenshots to entertain you guys right now. That's pretty much what I do anyways. Um, Paulo Dybala. Sensational. Sensational. Is it going to be the best version of Paulo Dybala in this game? No, it, it generally won't. Dybala each and every single year seems to get that, that one card that is brilliant. Uh, which, which one way? There was one year we had like a moment for a flashback or something like that and he was insane. And I don't know which year it was. I don't think it was last year. I think it was generally the year before. What? FIFA 20? Maybe FIFA 20. He had an insane card where we got him kind of early in the game or mid-game. He was unplayable at times. Literally unplayable. This card is very good. Definitely an upgrade on the original Dybala on this game. But again, he's got a lot of the same issues, lads. A lot of the same issues. You look at the strength and the aggression. They're not good. So if you expect them to be strong... Uh, think again, literally think again, stamina is exceptionally low, and this comes back to what I was saying on Gareth Bale as well, right? Because with medium mediums, they're still depleting stamina very, very quick, especially attackers, because you want them on the ball, you want to dribble, which depletes stamina quicker than uh, not dribbling with the cards, you want to run with the cards, which again, does exactly what I've just said, and uh, obviously, uh, that's going to happen with the attackers, so the stamina will deplete, and that's your extra time, you're going to miss out on an, like, uh, an impact player in extra time, Unless you bring him off the bench, he could do a great job. But the thing is, when this guy's on it, and he's got the stamina and stuff like that, early game, he's untouchable. Literally untouchable. Sensational cards. And uh, like I did say as well, 
Composure 80, Reactions 81, Finishing 87. I, I don't understand. He plays beyond that. It's like the composure does not even matter. The reactions does not even matter when it comes to Paolo de Ball, and I can't wrap my head around why. And the shot power being 86, psh, that is a lie, mate. <laughs> utter, utter lie. You've seen some of the goals I was scoring. There was literally one of the shots, the keeper got two hands to it, and it still ended up in the net. It's, it's just incredible what Dybala can do on this game. And I beg, and I plead, hey, yeah, if you're watching this, release a special Dybala. Make them like 97. Hey, just give us the Dybalas, man. I want the Dybalas. Very good player on this game. And I can't wait till he gets a good card. That actually sorts out the stamina. Strength, not so much, because he's going to be evasive anyways. But especially the stamina. Be nice to have a full star weak foot as well if you're watching it here. But uh, yeah, that dude, what a card. In terms of performance that he gives you while your stamina is still there, man. So overall rating for myself. Haha, <laughs> didn't even say a word. 8.8, uh, 8.8. Uh, I think at this stage in the game, there's many strikers that are better than Paolo Dybala. Especially because of the stamina. But what he gives you in game, he gives you uh, the oomph. I don't even know if that makes sense. Uh, he does give you like the oomph. He's got that, as Thierry Henry would, Thierry Henry would say, if I'd say that right, uh, the va va boom. He's got the oomph, the va va boom. Yeah, basically what I'm trying to say. In terms of enjoyment, it's a 9.2. <laughs> Thoroughly enjoyable. What am I? Honestly, sometimes in reviews, I've got no idea what I'm saying. Because I, I don't know what to say. I'm not an awkward man in person or anything like that. It's you, it's you, you guys are bad influences on me. That's basically what it is. Uh, 9.2 enjoyments and the value for coins. Will be a, a 9.3. By the way, I know it says value for time, and I guarantee someone will pick up on that and comment it pretty much in like 10 seconds within the comment section below. The value for the time, it, it doesn't cost time, it costs coins. Uh, that is what will happen. Because it always happens, and it's always a mistake on my editing. Like, basically, I do these graphics, and when you finish, you press save. Since I last pressed save, it said time. And since I edited it just now, I forgot to edit the time bit. Relax, relax. But it's that 8.8 .8 overall written. Uh, enjoyment 9.2. Value for coins, not time. <laughs> 9.3. Guys, that's going to be it for this review of Paulo Dybala. I beg he gets a better card in this game. Because even with his lower cards like this, he's exceptional when his stamina is there. Thank you very much for watching tonight. Hope you guys did enjoy our first Man of the Match review on FIFA 22. If you guys did, please leave a like on the video. Drop your comments, drop your thoughts. On um, this card in general, who you want to review next. And also the football. We had football today. We had football yesterday. How did your team do this weekend? Let me know in the comments. Hope you had a great day. We'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>